Hi everyone, and this is the Legendary Art back again with more. This time I'm going to be doing another Beyblade Burst unboxing. This is going to be for Beyblade Burst Battle Zero. So, if you didn't know, Beyblade Burst Battle Zero came out about a year or two ago. Let me move that out. Okay. So, Beyblade Burst Battle Zero came out about a year or two ago. Back around Cho Z when that was, when that was, um, Still its main focus for Takara Tommy. And it came with it came with Shining on Materials. Well, well it came with Shining on Materials, 3 Destroy Dash, and it also came and it also was one of the first I think it's the only It's basically the first and only Bailey Burst game to be released for a system. So yeah, that just shows you that there aren't really too many Beyblade games out there, but this, I feel like this is one, gonna be one of the better ones, and also I do have a Japanese account so there are DLCs, I could probably buy them, and I could also do gameplays on it, well I will be doing gameplays on it for my second channel, and if you didn't know my second channel is the Legendary R, then the number 2, so that way you could basically go there then check out whatever you want. I mainly do anime content there or Fade Grand Order stuff so that way it won't really be crowded on here but that's just a little bit of an explanation as to what this box is and why it's important. So, so um, without further delay let's get on to the unboxing. Okay, so this one was kind of a little bit short, and I'll be going through part by part, and I'm not really sure if I want to battle with this one. But, we're going to be going over some of the stuff here, because this is just a special unboxing, and I've never really reviewed something that's a game like this before, but, um, but I'll do my best. Now, it comes with this, which, um, at the time it was really insane. It's called the Chosetsu Muso Base Stadium. This to advertise the base stadium that came out around the time. And then it also advertises Chosetsu Valkyrie, the um the long bay launcher set, then the long bay launcher L set. Okay, so um for the game, you can see all the characters there, which is basically one of the best parts of it. It's like they took all the since they probably thought that was going to end with Chelsea, as what most people did, but they took all the major Beyblade characters at this time and then put them into one game, which is probably the best thing ever because Zack the Sunshine, people are missing Zack and all these other characters that aren't even in the new Beyblade seasons. This is basically where you could find all the all the characters that you have been wanting to see again. And I'm going to do this so that way you could actually see what's inside. So basically you get tells you that there are two ways to play the game. You can use it with motion controls or you could just use it like um stationary. So we're going to figure that out as we go along and once again, you can follow um, my playthrough of it. You can follow my playthrough of it on my second channel, so that's something to note if you are interested. So, the layer is Shining Amaterios. This one is actually a special version because it's exclusive to this, um, this game. And before then, it actually was a pretty limited release. Whoops. It was a pretty limited release. It only came out as a rare Baguette Battle Prize, which is really hard to win. You had to buy physical Takara Tommy Beyblades in order to get it. And on top of that, you also have to live in Japan because they they don't ship outside of Japan for the Baguette Battle Prize winners. And there are the teeth if you were interested in that. I know this Beyblade is pretty old, so the whole teeth thing kind of doesn't matter, but 
It's pretty nice to see. And up close, it looks really amazing. I love the five points, and this is also one of the Beyblades that Vault has always been wanting to battle since the first um, since the first season of Beyblade Burst. So I might do a battle between this Beyblade and um, not just the Hasbro one, but also the also some of the Beyblades that Vault has. Then we have the disc. The disc is um, three. It's called three because there are three points on each side and this also makes the number three. Same with there, then there's also three there. Print it. Three is a pretty three is a wow and four stars too. But um three is a disc that was made, but I I think it's made to be just kind of not overpowered and not really too not too much of a big deal because no one mentions three and no one ever talks about three but it was a pretty cool release to um to kind of close the to kind of close the, the gap with the number system but we had all number discs except for the three i think we have all of them from one to from one to 13 now okay so here's the driver the driver is called destroy dash and this is destroy this actually is pretty free spinning which is something that you really want for extra life after death or more more rotations after it's knocked off balance. And with a dash driver, it actually makes it so the spring is harder to push down and makes makes the bailey click stronger. Now let's put this bailey together. I'll also just do a test spin. I'll only do a test spin for this bailey because I want to wait for Actual battle veils before I do any battles, just so you could kind of see how strong it is and how it does against other Beyblades. And also, this disc might chip, so I might replace the disc too. We'll see. Okay, those clicks, these clicks are actually pretty hard, and I kind of forgot what it's like to click a Takara Tommy Beyblade, but. This seems to be one of the better ones. Now, let's do a test spin. Okay. Test spin in three, two, one, go. Two. Wow. Okay, do you see that? It literally looks amazing. I think that's probably because I never had a Chelsea Beyblade in a long time. Well, a new Chelsea Beyblade, but it looks amazing when it's spinning. It looks so... It, it's supposed to be one of the premium Beyblades and I get that premium feeling. Just because the whole shiny silver and also the gold in the middle. It's just really aesthetically pleasing. And that's what I mean by life after death. It literally, it literally stopped spinning and then it was still going for a little bit. So... That just shows it has a nice amount of life after death. Okay, so that concludes my review for the Bailey Burst Balance Zero set. It comes with Amaterios, and for my thoughts, I want to say that Amaterios seems like a good exclusive Bailey to pick up if you can. I think it should. I think if it's still out somewhere that you know of, then you could get it, then you should buy it because. It's one of those Beyblades that was really hard to get in Japan, and it's still pretty hard to get now. And that's just for the layer alone. So, unless you have a cheaper way to get the original one or some kind of recolor, then I feel like this is your best bet. And for the Nintendo Switch game, if you didn't know, the Nintendo Switch doesn't have to be a Japanese one, and it could even be an English one, then it could still work. So. That's pretty good. You have a game that you can play on your Switch, if you have one, then you have a Beyblade. So, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. I'm not really sure about the price, but I feel like it's a pretty decent thing to get if you can. So, like if you want, or if you want, and subscribe to become a legend in the making. See you next time, bye, and we are proven to be legendary.